Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the TLM word, word number one in every subframe. Remember, word number one and word number two are repeated in every subframe. So let's take a look at word number one. It's called a telemetry word, and of course, just like every other word, it has 30 bits. Now the first eight bits, and on the previous video, one of the previous videos, I couldn't remember if it was six or eight, but it's eight bits, we have what we call eight preamble bits. And that is the case, that is the first eight bits for every TLM word, for every word one, which enables the receiver to key in saying, that's the beginning of my, um, uh, of my transmission of that particular subframe. So when it picks up those eight bits, it says that's the first eight bits. Then the next 14 bits are the TLM message, and they're used for synchronization and for satellite maintenance. So to be able to sync up the timing of the uh, satellite and the timing of the receiver, there needs to be done some synchronization. The TLM message has that information. We'll have details of that in a later video. Then we have two single bits, 23 and 24. Now 24 is a spare bit and 23 is what we call the integrity status flag. And it's kind of in a, put in an interesting way. We have what we call the URE, which is the use range error. And that can be anywhere from a few meters to tens of meters to hundreds of meters, meaning the expected error to the signal. But if the URE, uh, what the URE, it can be set to zero or one. If it's set, if the flag is set to zero, what that means is that the URE, the expected error, will not be greater than 4.4 times the upper bound, whatever the upper bound is at that time, for less than one in 100,000 occurrences per hour. So in other words, we should be able to go 100,000 hours in that setting and only once go over 4.42 times the upper bound. Now, what we can say if the bit is set equal to one, then we can say that the URE will be one in, and 10 to the eight is 100 million, but in other words, there'll be less than one in 100 million occurrences per hour, or you can go 100 million hours before this happens, where the upper bound, or where the URE is 5.73 times the upper bound. It's kind of a weird way of putting it, but that's used in our software in the GPS receivers so that we can kind of figure out how reliable the information is. So it's either this or this. In other words, once the upper bound is set, we don't expect to go much over that at any point in time in, in many of the occurrences. And that just simply flag that gives that indication. And then finally, just like for every word, the last six bits are what we call parity bits. And those parity bits are checked to make sure that the message came across without any problems. Sometimes errors do occur and that then gets caught with checking the, the uh, parity bits. If the parity bits um, uh, come out correctly as we expect, then the chance of error is virtually nil. If the parity bits uh, do not come out as we expect them, then we can suspect an error in the data and then it should be taken with caution. Uh, maybe just even ignore it and wait for the next transmission to come. Uh, so that's the content of word one, what, what we call the telemetry word. And again, that's, that happens, this word will exist in every one of the subframes up front so it comes out with preamble bits, so the receiver can zero in saying that's the first transmission of the new subframe, and then it can look for the message that comes after that. And that's how we know what the contents are for word one.